That's a look, friend. Oh, oh don't move too much. <laughs> Hi, ladies and gentlemen and everybody in between. I am back with somebody else's hair and guess what? It's another Amazon wig review. I love to do Amazon wig reviews. And what I typically do with my Amazon wig reviews is buy a wig, spend all my money and see if it works out. And most of the time, it's, it's a shake up. I did two other Amazon wig reviews with braided wigs because basically, girl, I ain't got no edges. So I can't get into the summertime fun and wear braids, girl. I would have nothing in the front and everything in the back. We bought this wig with our money, okay? Shout out to me because obviously the Amazon wig review is sponsored by moi. <laughs> now, let's go ahead and get into this wig. So we're gonna open it together. I'm gonna show you the packaging, all that type of stuff. So this is the packaging, girl. This is how it came in a little, um, in the Amazon packaging. Just to give you some details, this wig is from the Fessehor, the Fessehor store. <laughs> This is a 36 inch double lace. Girl, they're gonna give me with the double lace again. Box braid wig, it's a knotless, it says cornrow braids, but I think they just be putting word salads in there just to see who's gonna click on what, okay? It's a hand braided wig for African American women only. <laughs> So this wig is in the color black. Right now it's $95.99 and it has a $10 off coupon. So if this works out, baby, it's inexpensive. And it has a 4.3 out of five. At this time, there are 1,148 reviews, which is pretty good, a 4.3 out of five. I guess we'll see. Okay, let's open it. What does it smell like? Like a clean locker room. Like it smell like feet, but now I don't smell like feet, don't worry. It's kind of like that. They give you wig caps though, so that's cute. You can put makeup on them or something. So this is the wig, baby. 36 inches is literally my full length from rooter to tuta, so. Okay, so this is the wig. Ooh, the hair is very light. This isn't heavy. My first one, ooh, girl, the wig's heavy, but it's really light. This is light. I don't know how I feel about that double A stuff. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't like it. And this is what the hairline is looking like. Giving very much straight across. Now let's go on the inside. Okay, so it is double lace. Y'all know how I feel about this double lace. So there's a layer of lace and then a layer of another layer of lace, I guess to help with it looking more scalp-like. And inside the cap, you get an elastic band, whether you like it or not, girl, this is not coming out. Let's go ahead and try it on. And of course, they give you copious, copious amounts of baby hair. So let's go ahead and try this on. I wanna see what she's giving. Mm-hmm. It's a little bit big over the ears, but, ooh, hold on. Oh, this is pretty. I like it. I'm actually excited. It's like really light, like light, 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 light. Light. I know y'all sick of seeing me in these sweatpants, but this is where we are. 36 inches at the back, okay. Oh, I like her. Thus far, I do like her. Ooh, ooh, I feel like I can put this up in a bun. I think I can do something different with this. Oh my God, I'm excited. Hydraulics, let's, okay, let's scoot up. Let me cut this braid because it's like stuck to the lace. I wonder if any of my other braids, it's probably the other braid on this side is like that. But other than that, cause I'm putting this hair in a bun. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can do a bun. There we go. There we go. Why do I look so creepy? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna pull all this back, right? These are like the softest braids out of the first two wig reviews. These are the softest, lightest braids. Like, they're really soft and light. So I'm gonna take, clip all this hair back, right? I think when I cut the lace, I am going to cut around the baby hairs I don't want. So like, if I need to go a little bit further and cut the, some of the baby hairs off, I may because some of these baby hairs, it just be a lot. So, huh, how am I gonna do this? I think I'm gonna add lace tint because look, y'all see where, like that don't look like, that's not my skin tone. So I'm gonna have to use a lace tint. <laughs> I gotta take this wig off at the very least. So, girl, I think these eyelashes and these beads came in this bag. <laughs> I think so. I'm gonna go ahead and tint this lace. I'm gonna go ahead and use the the Flawless Illusion by Kellen Derrick Lace Tint Spray, and I'm gonna go ahead and spray 
this second layer and then I take a brush and then I just distribute the color and I'm trying to concentrate on that lace part right there and I'm only doing the front because I don't know if I care about the back as much and it'd be taking too much effort to do the back so we're just gonna blend it in like this. I'm gonna take my Dyson blow dryer with a diffuser to blow dry it on, to set in the color. Okay, so I'm gonna plop on the wig <laughs> and see what she look like. I already know, it look gray, girl. It's giving. Why does it look like millennial gray? Like what? Girl, I don't, like that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. I gotta cut that lace out. It's not gonna work. I can't, I cannot. So, we're gonna cut this lace out. I should have did this in the first place. I already knew what was up. Okay, so we're just gonna cut. Oh, y'all see that? I'm just cutting the lace all the way across. Baby girl, they said that we're gonna make you fight. I know that's right. Finally, I cut the lace out. Let's see what it looks like. Girl, my fingers were so dirty from this lace tint. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. I still am gonna cut around the baby hairs that I want. So, so I'm gonna twist away the baby hairs that I want. And the ones I don't want, I'm not gonna twist away. So I'm cutting around those baby hairs so I'm not tucking them away. That's what I did last time and it just took extra time. Do y'all see what I'm talking about? Like I want this baby hair right here. I want these ones, right? Girl, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and I could just pull these back and I'll use them later. Like I want this one so I could pull that back and everything else I'm gonna cut around. Y'all see, does that make sense? Okay, so now that we did that, I feel like we can cut our lace. <laughs> I don't even know what is going on, but I don't want to have to do with all these baby hairs. It's just too much baby hairs, girl. So let's start by cutting the lace. I'm going to use my Annie shears. Girl, I'm nervous. I got to leave a little bit of lace, don't I? <laughs> can y'all respond to me? <laughs> if I can dig in right here and just kind of cut them baby hairs off. Y'all see? Ooh, I may regret that. Ooh, ooh. I could be ruining this wig. Or, 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 I could be doing a great freaking job, you know? <laughs> Okay, let's pull the wig on for and see what, um, wow, that's a, um, that's a hairline, isn't it? That is a hair line, baby. It's literally a hair line. Line. <laughs> I definitely need to cut around this ear because what is this? Why is this a thing? This is the, like the frustrating part. Like the way they structure the head, it's just like, girl, what is that? Oh, I guess we're gonna have to lose a braid or two. I have to cut this cap real vigorously. Go around. Oh, that's my hair. Oh. You got a free braid. Uh. Okay, let's do the same thing on this side. Okay, so now we can go ahead and apply the wig. This is terrible. Can I tie? Oh, girl, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. <laughs> just to make sure this wig don't move around, make this a middle part, and we're just gonna tie this down like a bonnet. We're gonna give it like Quaker bonnet. Shout out to the Quakers. <laughs> so my wig don't go nowhere. I feel like that's innovative, babe. Come on. That's a look too, babe. So next, we can go ahead and apply this wig. I think I'm gonna use the spray because at this point, I just don't feel like not using the spray, you know? 
So to apply the wig, I'm gonna use my Eben Wonder Lace Bond Spray. I need a towel because this is about to get real messy, child. Okay, so I'm just gonna spray this down, okay? I had another can, girl. I got stacks and stacks of cans, okay? I'm just applying it to the, adding it to the lace. And then I'm gonna blow dry it to cool it. And then make sure it sticks. Then we're just gonna move all the way along the hairline. But as you can see, baby, at this point, I got no scalp. It just literally looked like, you can't see a part nowhere. Girl, not me slipping and sliding on my forehead. I need to give this thing some parts because at this point it looked like a fade with gray, <laughs> with braids growing out of it. I just don't like it. Okay, and to clean up some of this spray gel, I have my washcloth with water on it just to help her out a little bit. And we're just gonna keep going across the hairline and spraying it down, you know? So I laid down the wig. It is down. It is secure. At least I think. <laughs> I'm not going to test it. We'll do a tug test. Like It's a light tug test. But the wig is down. It's down and up. Now all I need to do is my baby hair. So I'm going to take my baby hair brush and some got to be glue gel and some scissors. And we're going to go ahead and cut and lay down baby hair. So I'm going to start with this middle one first. And I'm using got to be glue gel because I want... Which way do I want to lay this? Oops. I'm using got to be glue gel because I want the wig to be extra, extra secure. So, so I'm gonna use the got to be glue gel and we're just gonna lay down the baby hairs. No, oh, it's not moving, child. Hold on, <laughs> hold on. I'm trying to do a swoop de doop and it's a swoop de don't. <laughs> okay, like, girl, I cut this too short. What is happening? Now I'm just scratching my forehead. Child, I'm gonna have to take this and get it out of the way because this is too long. I don't like that. Yeah, this is better. Like a little swoop D. Like I didn't want a swoop D doll. I want a swoop D do. <laughs> that's what I was trying to avoid doing, but. I think that's a cute little baby. Okay, that's cute. It's not too long. I want it like little and short, okay? Now I'm gonna do, let's do this one. Let's do this side. I'm gonna cut this down. It's gonna lay it down. Okay, well. Yeah, I've been cutting these baby hairs a little bit short. I don't like that baby hair at all. Oh no. I don't have time today to be playing with baby hairs. I don't, I don't, cause I don't. Okay, we're gonna keep going across the hairline, cutting, trimming, and laying. We're melting the hairline and basically the wig is done I'm just a little bit nervous about seeing what she look like like <laughs> I'm nervous but we got to reveal this hairline but as you can see like right now 
it's flat the last thing we need to do is seal the part because these parts are not defined like they're a little bit too deep probably because of the lace tint that i used but let me see if i can let's reveal this hairline real quick oh ah oh girl it look you know what i'm saying like it look oh um <laughs> I shouldn't have put that lace tint on there. I shouldn't have put that lace tint on there, but that's okay. We about to go in and define these ports. So I'm gonna define my parts using, I wonder if I should use this. What did I use last time? I think this is the Mac Studio Fix. Well, this is the Mac Studio Fix Stick Foundation. Yeah. Can you see the part? You can see the part. I'm just going in and defining it so at least you can see it. In the front parts, I'm just gonna go around it cause it just looks a little bit too, like you can't even see that part. That look like them two braids is Siamese. Ooh, that's, that's better. That's a little bit better. So this is the side with the defined parts and this is the side with the undefined parts. Oh, girl, it's giving muggy. So I'm gonna keep going across, getting in these parts. Not the middle part. Let's see. Let's put on some makeup and then I'll tell y'all what I think. <laughs> Cause no. Okay y'all, it's raining outside. So I had to close the blinds cause it's so dark. Girl, this is a finished look. After the makeup and like putting the stuff on the roots, girl, I'm into this wig. Okay, like look, let me show y'all the back. I didn't get to show y'all the back. Girl, <laughs> it, it looks like, look, 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 It's kind of giving scalp, like a little bit, just, you know what I'm saying? Like a little bit. It's kind of giving scalp. Now let me stand up. <laughs> oh, oh, don't let my body suit fall out, girl. <laughs> look how long these are. At first I wasn't sold on them because I was like, oh girl, I don't know how these look. To me like i didn't know if they looked really really cute to me but now girl i think they're cute i like them they definitely look better on camera than in person because in person girl you see all the little dipping dots on my forehead and i don't know how i feel about that like you can see all the little knots even though it looks better on camera it don't look that bad in person now i want to see if i can put it up in a bun okay now it's gonna take i'm gonna have to put this comb back here okay oh Oh, girl, the wig is flipping up, child. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Girl, this is hard. Ooh, 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 ooh. Baby, I got a bun. Oh, I'm here for it. Now, it's kind of like a mess. I done missed some braids. Ooh. Now, the back look a fool, but the front, babe. Oh, it's giving, oh, hold on. Come here. Babe, <laughs> I did it. Oh, now it look a fool in the back, girl. It's just, don't go nowhere. <laughs> but in the front, I did it. I've been wanting to do a bun with one of these wigs. And for, I've been wanting to do it forever. Babe, it's not but, but like sweat and regret in the back. But in the front, uh, that's a look, friend. <laughs> oh, don't move too much. <laughs> Yeah, I think we can get into uh, what I think about the wig. So for the price point, I think it's pretty good. Now, as far as that double lace, I hate double lace. It just it just complicates the situation. Give me one lace, okay? Take Knock the price down and give me one lace, not two, okay? Because don't nobody want that. Some people like the double lace. I don't. It doesn't match my skin tone. It's kind of hard to manipulate, and it looks weird on the hairline. The baby hairs are a little bit annoying, and the hairline is really, really straight. I don't think it's easy to apply. People are saying in the comments that the wig is easy to apply. No, ma'am. No, ma'am, Pam. I don't think it's easy to apply at all. It's really affordable. I think this was the most affordable braid wig that I had, so um, I would give it a yes if you want to try it out, but girl, be... Be mindful that you're going to have to put a lot of work in this, into this girl, okay? So, girl, go in with your work boots on. 
when you get a wig like this. I had to tussle a little bit, but it wasn't too bad. Y'all tell me what you think down below. If you want me to do more braided Amazon wig videos, I can do them because I have so much fun doing them. It's a lot of work. Girl, this neck is about to tip over. I'm willing to do more and send me some requests for some wigs that you'd like me to review on Amazon or otherwise. Girl, we're about to expand, okay? Y'all let me know what other wigs you'd like to review. So, anyways, I feel like a... Mm. Let's go ahead and get up out of here. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.